Hello and welcome to Byju's Exam Prep IAS. Welcome to the daily quiz discussion for the 27th of June 2022. Beginning with the first question of the day which reads consider the following statements with respect to Indian classical dance forms. The three statements are as follows. Bharatanatyam is the oldest among all classical dance forms in India and traces its origin to Sadar, the solo dance performance of temple dancers or devdasis in Tamil Nadu. The second statement reads Odissi dance is accompanied by Hindustani music and the tribanga posture is innate to it. The third statement reads Kathak is the traditional dance form of Uttar Pradesh and an important feature of it is the development of different gharanas. Which of the following statements are correct? Please have a look at the options. What is the context? This article from today's the Indian Express notes the show of Indian classical dance performance in Beijing, China. to pay tribute to Zhang Jun China's legendary dancer of Bharatanatyam Kathak and Odissi Zhang Jun had studied the dance forms under masters like Birju Maharaj and Uday Shankar Coming back to the question the first statement is correct that is Bharatanatyam is the oldest among all classical dance forms in India and it traces its origin to Sadar Owing to its origin Bharatanatyam is also sometimes referred to as Dasi Atam The second statement is also correct. Now what do we mean by tribanga posture? Tribanga posture means the three bended form of the body. Note in Odissi dancers create intricate geometrical shapes and patterns with their bodies. Hence Odissi dance also known as mobile sculpture. Moving on to the third statement. This is also correct. A unique feature of Kathak is the development of different gharanas and well known gharanas of Kathak include the Lucknow gharana Jaipur gharana Raigarh gharana and Banaras gharana since the question asks for the correct statement the answer to this question would be option D 1 2 and 3 moving on to the second question which reads consider the following statements with respect to Ranji trophy the domestic first class cricket championship the three statements are as follows the Ranji trophy sees participation from all 28 states and eight union territories of India The second statement reads Maharashtra has won the Ranji trophy the most times and the third statement reads Madhya Pradesh has won the 2021 22 Ranji trophy by beating Karnataka in the finals which of the following statements is or are correct please have a look at the options now what is the context this article from today's the hindu notes Madhya Pradesh having won its made in ranji trophy by beating multiple time champion Mumbai coming back to the question the first statement is wrong why because ranji trophy does not see participation from all eight union territories of india the second statement is also wrong because it is not maharashtra but it is mumbai which has won the ranji trophy the most times note mumbai and maharashtra have separate ranji trophy teams also the third statement is also wrong why because madhya pradesh bet Mumbai and not Karnataka in the finals since the question asks for the correct statement the answer to this question would be option D none of the above statements moving on to the third question of the day it reads which of the following statements is or are correct with respect to Mithun or Gael the three statements are as follows it is a semi domesticated bovine species considered to be a descendant from the wild indian gaur it is found only in northeastern states of india It is the state animal of Arunachal Pradesh, Nagaland and Manipur. Please have a look at the options. What is the context? This article from the PIB notes the visit of the Union Agriculture Minister to the National Mithun Research Center. Coming back to the question. The first statement is correct because Mithun is a semi-domesticated bovine species. The second statement is wrong. Why? because mithun is not found only in the northeastern states of india it is also found in china myanmar bhutan as well as bangladesh also the third statement is also wrong why because mithun is the state animal of arunachal pradesh and nagaland this part is correct but it is not the state animal of manipur try to find out what is the state animal of manipur if you know the answer please do type it in the comment section below since the question asks for the correct statement the answer to this question would be option a one only moving on to the fourth question of today 
it reads consider the following pairs of cities or towns and the associated industries there are four pairs given here and they are as follows tirupur textiles and garments jalandhar sports goods surat diamond and titagar paper how many of the above pairs are correctly matched please have a look at the options what is the context this article from the pib notes the union minister of textiles shri piyush goyal addressing an event in tirupur tirupur is a major textile and knit wear hub of india it contributes to 90% of total cotton knit wear exports from india speaking at the event the union minister noted government of india's plan to create 75 textile hubs like tirupur coming back to the question the first pair is correctly matched as discussed tirupur is a hub for textile and garment industries the second pair is also correct that is jalandhar is known for its sports goods industries jalandhar along with meerut accounts for nearly 75% of the total production of sports goods industries in india the third pair is also correctly matched that is surat is known for its diamond processing industry surat is believed to house roughly 6000 rough diamond cutting and polishing units also note surat is known for polishing 9 out of 10 diamonds in the world the fourth pair is also correctly matched note titagar is located in the state of west bengal it is best known for its paper mill industry as well as jute processing industries so the correct answer to this question would be option d all the four pairs moving on to the last question of the day this is a question from the upsc 2019 prelims general studies paper 1 the question reads in india the use of carbofuron methyl parathion forate and triazofos is viewed with apprehension these chemicals are used as the options are as follows a pesticides in agriculture b preservatives in processed food c fruit ripening agents and d moisturizing agents in cosmetics the correct answer to this question is a pesticides in agriculture in may 2019 in order to promote organic agriculture in the state of kerala the concerned state agricultural department had ordered a ban on the use of toxic pesticides like carbofuron forate methyl parathion methyl dimethon and triazofos it had prescribed the use of less toxic pesticides moving on to the fact of the day the partnership for global infrastructure and investment what is the context these articles from the indian express as well as the hindu note the announcement of the partnership for global infrastructure and investment by the us president along with g7 allies and the european union this initiative aims to mobilize 600 billion us dollars by 2027 of this 200 will come from the us and the rest 400 from its allies with the g7 and the european union this fund will be used for global infrastructural programs in lower and middle income countries This initiative is proposed to compete with China's Belt and Road Initiative. However, there are certain notable differences between the two. The most notable being, unlike the Belt and Road Initiative of China, which is state-run, funding for the Partnership for Global Infrastructure and Investment will come predominantly from the private sector, sovereign wealth fund, and the global development funds. Also, unlike the Belt and Road Initiative of China. the partnership for global infrastructure and investment will lay emphasis on sustainable and quality infrastructure development projects that is all for today thank you for being with us